What's up everybody, Andy here and welcome back to Debuff Debunk Gaming. So today I'm going to be telling you which SD card you should or shouldn't buy for your Nintendo Switch. So whether you're like me and you've filled up your capacity of your current SD card, or if you've just bought a new Switch and you don't have an SD card yet, but you want to upgrade it so you've got that larger storage so you can download more games and all that good stuff, well then stick around because that's what we're talking about today. So the Nintendo Switch basically has an SD card slot, which is a micro SD card, and that can expand your storage. However, there is a sort of slight but here because you don't want to just go and buy any SD card. You've got to make sure it's got the right read and write speeds so that you have the best experience because if you buy a slow card then not only are your games going to run a bit slower but they're also going to take longer to download and stuff like that so the Nintendo Switch does have a limit so of course you can buy the SanDisk cards which have the cool little Nintendo graphics on them for the different sizes so there's like a yellow a blue a red and stuff like that which are usually like 64 gig 128 256 and so on so it's really up to you what size what capacity SD card you want to buy and when I say SD card I mean micro SD card but it's up to you what size you want to buy for me I would highly recommend getting the largest size you can get because that means you're going to future proof it and then you don't end up like me where you're down the line and you have to upgrade again so you know there's that so get the biggest capacity that you can afford so whatever's on sale or you know within your price range make sure you get the largest capacity you can get so just for an example I've got a 200 gigabyte stick in there at the minute however I've filled that up now so I've actually upgraded to a 512 gigabyte so half a terabyte card so I am going to be putting that in as well but there was sort of which SD card should I buy should I get the cheap one should I get the more expensive one well like I said there is that bracket of how fast the switch can read and write so like this card just here this one is actually too fast so this actually has a read speed of 160 megabytes per second but the Switch can't utilize that, so it's kind of pointless buying such a fast card. So I actually went for another one which has got up to 100 megabytes per second read speed, and that is the absolute sort of top end of the Switch. It's actually slightly lower. So on Nintendo's website, it's not clear what they mean, but what they say is transfer speeds of between 60 megabytes per second to 95 megabytes per second and they're basically saying any lower than 60 you're gonna have some issues any faster than 95 well then it's not used anyway but you can use those cards so if you've got a really fast card like 160 megabytes per second read card well then it will just only read up to its maximum limit so it will still work but you're just kind of wasting your money on a faster card that you don't need essentially so there is that sort of transfer rate that they talk about on the Switch's website, on Nintendo's website. And what that means is actually the read speed. And I also think that does sort of cater to the write speed as well, but read speed is more important because if you're installing games onto your card, well, you're not actually writing the data unless you're downloading a game, which is then writing to the SD card. But once it's installed and downloaded, well, you're not actually writing anything anymore because all the saves actually save onto the system memory and not the SD card. So once it's installed, what you actually need is the read speed. So every time you boot up a game, what it's doing is reading that data off of that card and that determines how quickly the switch performs. So write speed really isn't that important as long as you don't mind it taking a little bit longer to download and install. If you really want the best, then you know, just get a more expensive card if you can afford it. But for me, I've actually gone for one of these, which is the integral, integral? Let's have a look. 
Integral. Let's go with Integral. Yeah, I think that says Integral. And that's a 512 megabyte card. Now this has up to 100 megabytes per second read speed. However, it is a little bit slower on the write speed because it's only 50 megabytes per second write. But there is a big but here. This card was less than 50 pounds. So I think it was about 40 to 45 pounds when I purchased it. And that's ridiculous for a half a terabyte micro SD card, so 512 gigabytes. Now, when this card launched about three years ago, it was nearly 300 pounds. So, you know, this is a very, very affordable card. Now, of course, this is Integral. So that's the brand that make this. This is the Integral Ultima Pro. So I would recommend this, but I would say don't just buy any old random brand off of Amazon or eBay because you do find a lot of fake cards there. Now I would highly recommend that you get a SanDisk or maybe like a Sony or even a Panasonic or a, I don't know, any of those higher end brands that you recognize the names of that are actually big companies really, because that is gonna make a difference. If you just buy a really cheap card that says it's really good at read and write, well then the chances are that it's gonna be a fake one and it's not actually going to perform to those standards. However, I have used Integral before and they have been pretty reliable in my sort of use case. And looking online, the reviews are very good as well. So I literally went with the best priced card that I could with a brand that I sort of respected. So I would highly recommend that you get a cheap cheaper card or the cheapest card you can with the best read speeds. I would highly recommend you getting a read speed of 100 megabytes per second and the write speed really, really doesn't matter. Anything above 50, I say is pretty good to be perfectly honest. But again, that doesn't really matter. It's all about the read speed. So there's no point getting a card like this one, the SanDisk Ultra, which is 160 megabytes read and I think 100 megabytes write because that costs almost the same amount, even though that's 128 gigabytes as my 512 gigabyte one. And really the performance is gonna be exactly the same, essentially. Okay, the SanDisk is gonna be a bit quicker at downloading and writing those games onto the card, but really it doesn't matter. So make sure you get the best that you can get and the biggest you can get. And that's why I say, check out Integral. They are pretty good. So let's just really quickly round up, get the most affordable card you can from the most respected brand that you're aware of. So like SanDisk, Sony, Panasonic, or Samsung even do cards as well. The, all those kind of brands or Integral. So the best card you can get for the lowest price. You want a read speed of around 100 megabytes per second if you can. The write speed isn't so important, say 50-ish or above. But again, it all comes down to that price bracket and what you can afford. And that's pretty much it. So that's uh, a nice and quick video for you. Now, if you wanted to figure out or know how to upgrade from a current card, so if you're like me and you've already got an SD card in your Switch, but you filled it up and you don't really know how to sort of transfer that data onto the new card, well then make sure you hit subscribe down below because there is a video coming next week, which will be showing you exactly how to do that. And if you're watching this in the future, then the video is already online. So go to our channel and check that out. So make sure you leave a thumbs up because that really does help subscribe as well and also if you want to see gameplay footage and loads of other stuff check out 128kb that's another series of channels here on youtube and there is also a website so that's 128kb.co.uk and there's loads of stuff on there so make sure you check that out anyway i'm andy this is debuff to gaming i'll see you next time